Coming up next, we get to a featherweight tilt between Conor McGregor and Makwan Amir Khan. what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this game? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag the striker to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Switch and he lands to the body. Over and over, he's landed his big body there. Amir Khani gets caught with that punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job. Amir Khani gets the double leg takedown now. Close guard, trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, working inside the close guard now. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed. Try, try again, was able to get him down. Persistence aids, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top support? Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, blocks the shot. Oh, that's a big connection there from McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Amir Khani gets caught with that punch. 45 seconds remain in the round. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big knee. And we got a fight on our hands. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Not the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do? All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat streak. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh! He's looking to land the right just out of range. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big shots being left. He's stuck looking to finish now because he's got to hurt very bad. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Amir Khani's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh! Now he's 
Mitchell kick. Now he can escape. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, look at him jumping in. Wow. To wow. He's done. He's done. <laughs> yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, three seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.